Hello and welcome to episode 42 of the Niche to Profit show here on the Vegas Video Network. Okay, if I look a little peaked today, I am I am still recuperating from uh, one of the busiest days for retailers, whether online or uh, brick and mortar uh, of that happens here in Vegas. And that was the ASD uh, market week is what they call it now, which I attended and I spoke at. I'm going to give you a recap of that. I'm, I'm also going to tell you if you've never been to this, or even if you have, uh, how to get ready to come to the next one, which will be happening uh, the end of July. So we're going to go into that. Uh, but first, I am your host, Danny Ackerman, also known as the Danny App, because of my nearly two decades of selling online and uh, being in the retail world my entire life. I grew up in the back of a thrift store. What I do is I help online sellers who are struggling with slow sales, frustrations, eBay glitches, and I keep you sane and I help you make more money and get through that stuff. And we talk a lot uh, a lot about that on the show with uh, doing some real-time uh, uh, listing reviews, um, figure out how to make some stuff uh, appear better to the the buyers that are out there. We also talk about hot sales of the week, things that are selling really well and where uh, people that are over on my Facebook group have just made huge profit margins. We love that. Stuff is still selling, you guys. It's still selling. There's still thriving businesses out there. Uh, And this week, we're also going to play another round of Pick It or Pass It. And uh, stay tuned because I've added a really cool prize that you're going to want to enter and and try to grab. We are live every Thursday at 3 p.m. here on the Vegas Video Network at VegasVideoNetwork.com forward slash live. And uh, we have a live chat. So during the show, if you guys have questions, type it in there. Love my live chat people. I see a couple new faces. Hey, Beth, I see you there from Pennsylvania. Welcome, welcome to the chat. So uh, before we get into the ASD topic, I have to share something. Uh, This is my little guy, Noah. Uh, Those of you who have gone to the More Fun Brigger Profits uh, event have met him. He is my little prince. And he, uh, we're homeschooling now, as, as I've talked about before. And he wrote a little... Uh, report. He did a little research. He totally surprised me with this. And I said, oh, honey, I want you to come on the show and read this to everybody because it is so awesome. So I'm, I'm going to let him, re- can I show it to him real quick? No, let yeah. me, let me show him what, like, I got this little handwritten note here from him and I'm just, I just love this little guy. So here we go. Read away my little Shakespeare. My mom, Danny runs the Danny app and she does it well. She started 18 years ago. She started with an Avon business, and she raised and trained thoroughbred racehorses. She grew up in the world of antiques and collectibles. She does her work with caution to not give false information, and she has helped probably hundreds of people with her business. Danny made the Niche to Profit Academy and show. Her radio show is called The Vegas Video Network. She ha- had launched this helpful, amazing business 18 years ago, eight years before I was even born. Join her today because her business is still, get- is still growing and getting even more helpful. That's pretty awesome. You are so awesome. So thank you, Noah. Thank you for coming on and, and uh, making my new commercial. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, now I'm going to blow you a kiss and you're going to sneak your little way back over there. Go finish your schoolwork now, would you? Would you? All right, there we go. Go finish that work. All right. And and so, yes, you in the chat, you remember Noah. Some of you haven't seen him for a while. Yes, he has gotten big. He's going to be, oh, my goodness, he's going to be 11. Not next month. May. I had to think for a minute. May. He's going to be 11. And Rachel's here, too. Rachel's over in the in the live studio audience as well. They're with me today. So it's it's family. It's family week. So. Oh, awesome. And we've got uh, Tashama in the chat there now, too. Hello, Tashama. She's one of the newest appsters. She's joined us. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so let's talk about ASD. Um, this is funny. The first thing I always get asked is, what does that stand for? So I ha- I looked it up for you guys, okay? Because I actually, 
I didn't know. We just always, the lingo here in the uh, resale world is we, we call it ASD. And it's ASD Las Vegas, and you just know what that is. So they actually rebranded. It's no longer ASD Las Vegas. It's ASD Market Week. And what ASD stands for, um, when it when it started in 1961, this is this is a really long running trade show here in Vegas. Uh, but when they first started, it was Associated Surplus Dealers. Uh, what they have changed it to is Affordable Shopping Destination. That makes no sense to me. So we'll just keep calling it ASD. Okay. It's all, it's all good. Yeah. But that that's the official lowdown on what ASD stands for. Uh, they have two a year. So there is the one that just finished up a couple days ago. So there's one in the, well, I get, it's supposed to be spring, but we know it's not quite spring yet. Uh, so they did it a little bit early this year. So spring and then summer. Uh, So the next one will be July 31st through August 3rd. And before you guys groan and say, oh, my gosh, I cannot go to Vegas in August, there's air conditioning. Okay, you will need a sweater when you're inside the convention center. I guarantee it. So come on down. The cool thing about the summer one is there's a lot less people attending a lot less competition there's there's a few less vendors uh, but there's enough trust me this is a big show if you're familiar with the las vegas convention center there is a north hall a south hall and then there's a hall in between called the central hall uh this show it, it takes up all three halls it is huge this is just, I believe this is in the South Hall. Now, this, this actually might be, yeah, this is South Hall. Um, and this is just one aisle. And there's aisles and aisles and aisles of this stuff. So, so that's one of the first tips. If you ever ask anybody who's been, the first tip they'll give you is wear comfortable shoes. Uh, that if you, if you learn nothing else before you go to this, yeah, do not wear your cute high heels you will really be hurting. Okay, so it is uh, ginormous, as I said. And we have actually a picture of kind of like the the bear. This is what it looked like. This is teardown. Tear down. Look it. You can drive a semi-truck in and it looks small. Uh, so this is really, really huge. This is what happens when the dealers, you know, have to pull everything up. They have to take everything home. Uh, although I will tell you, uh, there's a little trick you can uh, learn, especially if you're local, um, like I am. And uh, that is you can buy their entire booth full of samples for below wholesale. And a lot of people, I didn't know that for years until somebody told me, did you know you can buy the booths? And I'm like, hello, that's awesome. <laughs> So um, I actually did that a couple of years ago. I have not done it since because let me just let you know, a booth is sometimes hundreds to thousands of items. Even though it's it's one of each of the stuff they sell, it can be thousands of items. So you have to be ready for it. Have to be ready for it. Uh, so let me share some things about who can go and who can't go. So uh, number one, Nobody under 16. There will be no screaming babies. There will be no bratty little children running around, (laughs) hanging out in the toy department. Um, No, you have to be 16 or older to go to this. And it is free to attend, but you must register. And the way you register is with one of four things. You can register with your business license or tax ID, a business card, which I think about and go, really? Because anybody can go to Vistaprint and get a business card made, but that's that's the rules. Uh, Resale certificate or a company check or company credit card. It's really easy to register for this, let me just say. Uh, So you register ahead of time. They will email you your badge you print that out you take it in and then you get the real badge really really easy process um 
So there are a couple different things you can do while you are at ASD. Um, let me just grab a question over here from Lisa. Can you bring a guest or employee? Yes. Actually, I brought uh, hubby Steve with me and his little badge said guest because I added him on at the last minute. So, yes, you can bring employees. You can bring guests. Uh, I added him online before I went. Now, if you don't do the online thing and you show up, they're going to charge you 40 bucks. So it behooves you to, to, to do it all online. And you just go to asdonline.com. Everything is there. And they actually have an app. You can plan out your trip. You can look at who's going to be exhibiting ahead of time. So you know which vendors you want to go to. And I'm going to talk more about that in a second uh, because that's super important. So there are two things you can do at ASD. One of them is, of course, source for new merchandise to sell. The other one is a huge amount of education and I actually was one of the speakers this year um, through the Internet Merchant Association, IMA. Do we have that picture? I think we have that picture. There we go. There we am. Um, unfortunately, my room was not packed because it was the third day at three o'clock. Uh, I had I had all I could do to keep people awake. Um, but I, of course, and I talked about eBay and you guys all know eBay is not the hot topic right now. Uh, but... I'm telling you guys, stick with me because Amazon's up to stuff. Amazon's just, they got that little rug by the corners and they're thinking about giving it a little tug. Um, yeah, you heard it here. You're going to want to have your eBay established. Even if you sell on Amazon, you need to keep up that eBay. I am telling you. All right. So um, education. And there was everything from, of course, you know, my topic of talking about eBay to some of the really, really heavy Amazon topics and uh, private labeling and sourcing from China and just everything you can imagine. And they actually give you all that. If we can show the website here, there's a whole tab that shows you all the education and the schedule. It is three days of just talking, talking, talking. They had Jim Cockrum as the keynote this year. Um, but yeah, you can pick the date. You can see all the talks. Oh, there was speakers on Wednesday. Oh, I feel bad for those speakers. There was probably nobody left. Um, so, yeah, really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. Even if, if, even if you're not going for, for merchandise, go for the education if you can get there. It's like going to a free conference with really good stuff. Okay, so let's get to the sourcing because I know you guys want to hear about the sourcing. So, as I said, there's halls of stuff and it's pretty well laid out so south hall has your uh gift items house decor um toys and games and then upstairs they have an upstairs level which is all the liquidators and so liquidators are those that go to stores let's say you know like bed and bath and beyond or or nordstrom's and those retailers want that stuff out of their inventory and out of there. They go to a liquidator to buy it all for pennies on the dollar. The liquidator then marks it up just a little bit to sell it to the wholesalers. So it's it's kind of the chain there. You can also find manufacturers at ASD, which is what I like to do. I like direct. Go find the source. Many of them are not online yet. Many of them are scared to get online. You can forge relationships with some of these manufacturers of some really cool products and get an exclusive contract to be the only one selling it online. Uh, and that can be extremely lucrative. Some of them may want some coaching or some help to get online. There's another stream of income without ever buying a thing. And again, it is about forging those relationships, knowing how to talk to those people. Uh, I actually, uh, after many years of going to the same vendor, talking to that same vendor, and um, I never placed an order until this ASD show, and uh, she's actually invited me to her home now. She, I helped her with her eBay stuff, and she's just tickled, and, and we're, we're besties now. <laughs> so that's what can happen. This is, this is so much easier 
than going and finding things at the thrift store and such in the one-offs because now you can find product lines that you can sell over and over and over again. But it does take some uh, developing a different mindset when you're going into this because you will have to take some bigger risks. You will have to buy more than one of something. Uh, and and that's really, you guys, this is where I all I want you all looking at adding a line of something that will sell over and over and over again, because that can just make you so much money. Um, some of my clients buy things by pallets, by containers. And containers are when it comes over from overseas on the ship and it's in those big containers that then get lifted and put on the trains or the trucks. Those are containers. Uh, and you can buy a full one of those. And, um, and you get the stuff pennies on the dollar of what you see it for on retail and that's what makes it so lucrative you can actually end up liquidating a a good portion of that when you're you know your selling period has been done and still get your money back out of it so good stuff good stuff Uh, so I saw a lot of people there that were really overwhelmed it was like their first time and that was the word of choice was just complete overwhelm because they felt like they had to go see every single vendor in every single hall uh, and look at all genres of stuff, clothing, jewelry, shoes, giftware, toys, tools, luggage. This is where I'm going to nag on you guys a little bit. Get that niche. Get your niche. Uh, My niche is... It, it's actually, you know, I should pull it up and show this to you guys because um, I've really redone this recently. I'm going to pull up utterly good stuff here. My niche is conversation pieces now. Uh, antiques collectibles is is kind of fading as antiques collectibles. Uh, so I've learned to, to market it differently, and I encourage you to do this too. There's my store categories, guys. Um, I have lots of animal stuff. Animal stuff always sells. Conversation starters. Beautiful accents, weird, wonderful, and ugly. That's one of my best-selling categories, by the way. Uh, So really tightening up uh, who I am marketing and selling to. And I created those categories. You guys get to create your own categories. This is what I teach over in the Niche to Profit Academy is is start picking categories that make you stand out from all the other people selling the same kind of stuff. Oh, look, I have an offer. (laughs) Yay. How special. Um, So... when you have your niche, so for me, I went straight to that South Hall downstairs and I knew right where I wanted to go. I knew right the vendors that, that didn't make sense for me and I could walk on by and then the ones who looked interesting and had potential. So you find the vendors that you like. Okay. So let's talk about that because this is the other place where I hear people going, so I find this stuff and I have no clue what to say when I get there. Um, so one of the first things you can do is if you find product that interests you is you can very simply ask them if they have a catalog. Uh, many of them do. Here's some of the catalogs I whoop, I picked up. This is the other thing. Bring a rolling bag. I highly recommend Zucca bags, Z-U-C-A, because uh, you have to bring a small bag in. You can't bring like a big old honking suitcase uh, the Zuka bag is built for you to sit on. I, and I guarantee you're going to want to use it to sit on several times uh, during ASD. Um, so, yeah, so you can get these catalogs. And, and once you have the catalogs, you know, now you've got the stuff to go home and research. Many of these, this is the cool thing. Let's see if one, see if one of these has it. Yeah, let's see. They have SKU numbers. So they already have, like, UPCs and scannable barcodes, like, I don't know if you can see this. They have the barcode in here. You can scan right from the catalog to check this stuff. You can hire somebody. Hire a a college kid at 8 bucks an hour just to scan and find you profitable stuff for you to go and second look at. Um, It's really cool. You can get tons of information. Now, here's some things you need to know. When you are buying from a vendor at ASD, there are some questions you need to ask. One... Where do you ship from? These vendors come in from all over the country and all over the world. 
So if they are shipping you something from China, uh, your shipping costs are going to be quite high. If they are one state over, you know, you're going to pay less shipping than, say, somebody who is eight states over, right? So you need to know where they ship out of. You need to know what their minimum order is. Uh, Every one of them pretty much is going to have a minimum order. Now, it used to be they were like 500, 1,000, 2,000. Not so anymore. Many of them, it's like 100 bucks. Easy, right? Uh, very little risk there. So that, that's good and bad, though. I like them to have a higher minimum order because if they have a higher minimum order, I'm going to have less competition on the items because not just anybody is going to grab those items and try to sell them. So that's where doing your homework, knowing your niche, knowing your customer really comes in and being able to spend a little bit higher to get an order placed with a vendor that you like. Now, they'll wheel and deal. They have what are called show specials. They are there to get orders. That's it. You don't have to pay for the stuff right then. That's something to note too. Um, A lot of them, they will take your credit card information, but they will not charge it until they ship. And you can let them know, do you want them to ship 30 days out, 60 days out? Like if you can go in there and order for the fall season and say, hold off, I don't want this shipped for three months and you will not be charged until it ships. So that's another beautiful thing. Um, Many of them will give some deep discounts for show orders and If you don't place the order at the show, you can still ask things like, well, how much, uh, how much would I have to order in order to get free shipping? Because shipping costs can really add on to the, uh, the cost of per item. So that's something you really want to be aware of. Uh, let's see. Oh, um, terms. I just talked about that samples. Let's talk about samples. Now, you do not want to be that person that goes to every booth and goes, can I have a free sample? Can I have a free sample? Yes, there are those sellers. Your reputation will spread. Those vendors talk. Let me tell you, they're there for five, six days together. They're going to say, oh, gosh, yeah, watch out for that one. I guarantee it. You don't want to be that. If there is a vendor you are truly interested in working with and you really do want to place an order, perfectly acceptable to ask for a sample see if you can purchase a sample or be given a sample Uh, they will do that so that you can see the quality you can see uh, what it looks like when it comes packaged all of those good things oh booth let's let's talk i love the booth sale so you will see signs of many of the booths saying booth for sale or samples for sale and that is because they came from either eight states over or another country and they don't want to ship all that stuff home. So it's, it makes more sense for them from a financial standpoint to sell it to you for a discount that is even below the wholesale price. Uh, When I purchased a booth, I purchased all these little um, carved marble animal figurines. Must've been about a thousand of them. And I got them for 20% below wholesale cost, which made them super easy to make money on. And I made thousands of dollars and I still have some left um, because they've just consistently sold over and over and over. So it also tells you when you buy a booth of samples. So now you've got the things to list what sold the fastest. Boom. That's the stuff now you want to place an order for. You get to test a little bit of everything that that vendor has to offer so you can zero in on those items that are going to make you money. Don't feel like you have to order 15 things from the same vendor. I have, in fact, it's this vendor right here. There is one thing that I want to order and I want to order a case of them and they are fine with that. Uh, Even though they have a catalog filled with stuff, it's just one item that really fits my niche well. Uh, So no shame in that. Um, get pi- business cards. Gosh, why can I say that word? Uh, business cards. So you remember who at that booth did you talk to? Who was the salesperson who told you that if you order $500, they're going to ship for free? Make sure you get their name 
what booth number, you always want to have the booth number two written on there, and something that is going to help you remember what it was you saw at that booth. Because you're, you're going to think that you're going to remember all this stuff when you first start out. Ain't going to happen. Your brain is going to be on overload by day three, by day two, by day two. Um, so make sure you make a note on there so you can remember what it was you wanted to go back and, and do with that stuff or with that booth. All right. Gosh, did I cover all? I think I, I cash and carry. That's thank, thank you, Scott. Cause see, I was talking about this before the show. See, that's, that's why I got these headphones on. Uh, so cash and carry is another area. It is mainly jewelry, but then they have some fun things like little clip on ears. <laughs> so, um, I was there with Kat Simpson, who many of you know, and and the girl at this cash and carry booth was a really good sales girl because she went and she picked out the ones that were appropriate for our hair color and style, you know, and she got us both to buy a pair for 20 bucks a piece, which was insane because you can't even retail them for that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so cash and carry uh, jewelry. I mean, you can, and it's not just cash, by the way, they will take credit cards. They say cash and carry because it's basically, you get to buy, you get to buy it right there, carry it out. And it, it's a very confined place within, um, it's in the North hall and they let you do that. And there's scarves and purses and other little things. Um, it's a fun area. So uh, Wendy is asking me, uh, since you specialize in glass, did you find any wholesalers from whom you could get some glass items? Um, I did, Wendy, um, especially since now I'm not just geared in on antique glass so much, even though that is one of the things that I sell. I did find some really nice uh, glass lines, crystal, those sort of things. So, yep, yeah, absolutely, absolutely can do that. And the thing that's cool is, um, is some of you who watch my Facebook know we're getting ready to open a brick and mortar store here in Vegas. So we were looking for some larger like garden patio things. And I was really excited because uh, I made some of those connections. And probably in August, I'll buy the booth. Now I know I'm going to go straight in there. I know which vendor I want to go talk to. I remember what they had. And bam, it's booth buying time. Because you do need to buy the booth early. Because everybody's vying for those booths. So you go in there like day one or even before day one, there's a little sneak peek day you can get in on. Uh, and you go in there and you make those vendor connections that you already know you want to go to, if, especially if you want to buy a booth. So lots, lots to do, lots to see. Uh, and happy to share more of that over in the Niche to Profit Facebook group. If you guys have more questions, head over. And now... Take a little break and come back and do some Why Won't They Buy. At Neon Brand, we take care of all your online marketing. We build websites, perform search engine optimization, run social media campaigns, and produce high quality photos and videos. We look at it like we're a one-stop shop for all your online marketing needs. We pride ourselves on quality work. Every website we build gets the utmost attention to detail and uses the latest in code and technology in order to ensure that your site stays relevant for the long term. Social media takes constant monitoring and engagement, and we have just the team to handle it for you. A killer video or photo shoot will take your product or service to a whole nother level. Don't believe me? Three words. Dollar Shave Club. Google it. If you're looking to get more customers through the internet, give us a call. We'll set up a free consultation and review your business needs and then decide on a plan that will help you accomplish your online marketing goals. I'm Kenny, this is Neon Brand, and we're here to help you succeed online. All right, and I just have to say, Neon Brand is the a company I have chosen to uh, rebuild the niche to success website. So watch for some cool things happening there. Uh, phenomenal company, really cool people. They get it. They get what we're doing. They get what we need our websites to do. Love them. All right. Our first, why won't they buy item comes from Jennifer Hickey of city farmhouse antiques. Let me just scroll over so you can see her ID there. City farmhouse antiques. Uh, this is indeed a Murano ashtray that she's had listed for a while. 
And her pictures, number one, I don't have to say anything about uh, Jennifer's pictures. She takes phenomenally good pictures. Uh, This item, I think the problem is there's some words that could be tweaked around in the title a bit. And I wanted to use this example because a lot of you get these particular Murano pieces. Uh, This is a very popular shape of bowl. And I call them a bowl, first off. I don't, ashtrays are kind of, they're out. They're on the outs. Uh, Somebody can say, ash, ah, I don't want an ashtray. But they'll look at it and go, ah, but I want a bowl, right? So you have to really think about who your customer is. Now, if you have a cigar store, you want to call it an ashtray, right? It's all about knowing who your customer is. But her, she does not have a cigar store. So what we want to call this, I would add mid-century Murano glass. And that phrasing is really important. Mid-century Murano glass is four words that people put into search together. Going to raise the likelihood of this item coming up. So mid-century Murano glass by Morphic Bowl. So this shape is known to the collectors as bimorphic. She has floriform, and I honestly have not heard that term used in the Murano collector world, but they do call this bimorphic, and that has to do with this little double fold thing going on here. Um, And just a little info for you that may not be familiar with Murano, there's holy smokes, there are uh, three different things going on with this bowl. One of which is it's known as summer sew. That is when those colors kind of blend one into another. And then you have the uh, venturine, which is either gold, silver, or copper are the three metals that Murano used for this. So that is either real gold, real silver, or real copper that makes that color within there. And then the controlled bubbles are known as bulacante. So uh, this is a piece that... uh, took a little bit to put together and I can assure you this was not a Chinese copy because they just don't put the effort into putting that many techniques together and making this quality of a piece so your price spot on if you make these changes and this item doesn't sell in say four to six months at the most I would try putting that price at $99.95, getting just under that $100 threshold, and see if that helps get you an offer. All right. And Matt says, do people actually use expensive glass as an ashtray? I would imagine there's probably a market for that. I imagine there is, but you got to market to them. The most people buying this are buying it because it's a, it's a collectible piece of Murano glass. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right, let's go to Donna. Donna has these interesting little brass goosies. And they have been listed for quite some time. And uh, she has Tin Lizzie Treasures is her her store name here. Uh, She has the title as Pear, Brass, Birds, Geese, Two-Tone, Long Necks, Elegant, Hollywood Regency. Again, you guys, these titles... So, so important to think about your ideal customer for the item. And if you sell, if you don't have a niche and you're selling a little of this, a little of that, you have to do this for each item. You really have to be thinking who is the ideal customer for this item. Uh, in this case, I would, I would tighten up that title to pair of vintage brass geese figurines. Here's why. They are made in India. Uh, when we think of Hollywood Regency, We're thinking of that made in USA, gaudy gold and brass, and uh, it's a really certain look. So I really don't think these fit, but I do think these fit more in a contemporary styling. So what might be happening here is somebody who is searching Hollywood Regency keeps clicking over on your listing, and it is not what they're looking for. So you're getting clicks and uh, impressions But then nobody's buying, which is just going to bury you down in search. So you really don't want a whole lot of clicks without a buy. Uh, You really want the right people to click over because then you're going to know it's going to be one out of every four or five people. Eventually, that's who's going to buy that item or less, depending on how well niched you are. Um, I would probably actually change the gallery picture to this one. 
uh, just kind of shows the detail on those ducky geesey guys a little better. And I, I would call them geese. If they don't sell as geese, change it to duck. But don't put more than one thing in there. Be very specific. Target either the geese, goose geese buyer or the duck buyer or the bird buyer. Pick one, roll with it. I would also change the category on this to collectibles, animals, birds, and, I, and there might even be um, geese as one of the things. So the category, let's see if let me, let me get it on the screen here. See how she's got collectibles, metalware, brass? eBay is actually filtering results now by categories that customers don't even know that's happening. They're just getting the results they get. But if you look closer, you're going to see eBay's chosen what category they've pulled things up in. So category is becoming really important, too. So um, that's what I would try for those, Donna. That is what I would try. Let's see. So um, let me do one more quick one. I know I can talk fast just because this is such a cool piece. And I honestly don't know why this hasn't been grabbed up. This is an art glass fish tutti fruity hand blown end of day Euro accents Romania. Okay, yeah, I do know why it hasn't been grabbed up. We are going to talk about that title again. I would change this to Romanian glass fish sculpture end of day. That's it. I looked up Euro accents while it is a brand and it is labeled as that. Nobody's searching for that. That though, yep, yeah, nope item specifics. That way, if somebody searches for it, it's going to come up. This is going to sell on the fact that it is this cool tutti fruity art glass fish. Now, Donna has a little bit of a challenge because she's in Canada and it kind of breaks my heart that she's gone back to charging shipping because she did go to free shipping, which was um, really different than all of her Canadian uh, competition there. And, and it was because she sold a lot to the U S but she has gone back to charging shipping and that is always going to hurt. It's always going to hurt. Um, that being said, I would still raise the price. People perceive the value in the price. They perceive the quality in the price. I'd raise this up at least 20 bucks, 79 99. That's what I do. And again, we have, uh, up here in the category i would put it now into the collectibles animals fish category since um the thing is it's going into other countries instead of like romanian so yeah that's what i do see if the fish the fish buyer wants to uh get that item all right and again this is what we do over in the niche to profit academy you guys uh, you can submit listings like this over in our private Facebook group, and I will help you with this stuff, and we will help you get these items sold because it's all about cash flow. As you heard when I had Justin Crane on here a few weeks ago, you got to keep the cash flow going so that you don't feel like you're struggling to pay bills all the time, that you're actually seeing the profits coming. That's what we do over there. Come on over. Join us. Use the um, show 30 code and come check it out for 30 days. No obligation to stay. It's a niche to success.com or you can go to niche to profit academy.com. Either way, we'll get you there. All right. How about we show some hot sales? I love hot sales. Uh, you know what? I was looking for my disco ball. To hang, I was like, I've already scoped out this ceiling, Don't Scott. Wow. We're gonna put a little hook, and on Thursdays, we're gonna put a disco ball. That's okay. It's all good. Um, first, let me just say we have something going on called the Ultimate Listing Challenge. Gosh, that seems. <laughs> yeah, that one doesn't work. Try something else. Yeah, we can. Well, we can live with that. So, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the ultimate listing challenge is something that I run three times a year. And I do it to a few different reasons here. You guys all think it's just so I can kick you in the butt and tell you you need to list more. No, 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 no. It really is so you can see how setting your goals, keeping track of them, being accountable and really looking at 
why the sales are slow based on the numbers that you're listing. Um, we keep track of all that data for you. And at the end of the challenge, we're going to give you that report of how you did and where you could have done better and what we saw. Plus, you get to hang out with a lot of really groovy people over on the Facebook group, Ultimate Listing Challenge. Uh, go over to ultimatelistingchallenge.com. Join us. You will get a daily email from me that I'm going to give you some tips, some help, some sometimes it's a little, just a little shot in the arm of some motivation. Uh, and let's uh, let's get these listings pumped up and get this stuff selling so you can be on the hot sales. So these are all Appster hot sales this week. I love when that happens. What do we have first? We have. And I saw Melanie over in the chat. Uh, I think you're in there as Lambs One. Yeah, I saw you sneak in over there. Uh, she has this beautiful Venetian glass decanter and glasses set. And she found this at a Goodwill about seven months ago. <laughs> How did you find this for $10? $10! Oh, yeah, I would have grabbed that up. Uh, it, she was asking $184.99. Accepted a best offer on Saturday of $150. There we go. It is shipping to the UK, so they are paying the shipping on top of that. So she made a clear profit of $114 and some change. That's, yeah, she says not too shabby. Yeah, I would say so. I'm telling you guys, those $100 profit margins, you just keep repeating that. That's better than selling a whole slew of stuff over on Amazon, okay? I'm just saying. You can't make margins. Well, there's a few things you can make margins, but they're few and far between. Yeah, this is... Um, so, her. you can see Venetian glass decanter. That phrase right there got the right person to this listing. Got the right person right there. And then she's got beautiful pictures that blow up. And you can see how awesome this set is. Yep. Very good. Very good. And she did the free shipping. Awesome job, Melanie. Uh, Donna, who I just talked about before, has a cool hot sale. She paid $6.50 for this at a Canadian auction. Sold this weekend for $138.88. Yep. It was only up for a week. That's what we like. Turn them fast. Um, this was antique Korean tea caddy. Boom. Do you see? You you almost don't even need the rest of it. I'm telling you, that is what somebody searched, and that is why they found the right item. Bam. She got that sucker sold. Those titles are so important, you guys. So important. And um, you can see nice big pictures. They can see that con condition blown up. Collectibles buyers, they have to have that. They have to have that now. They're spoiled. All right. And we got one more from Annette Kincaid. Purchased these on Friday. Prepped, photoed, and listed Saturday in the PM. Within 10 minutes, sold one. Nice. Uh, by the next day, she was sold out. And I'm not sure how many you had here. Annette, Annette are you in the chat? How many of these did you sell? Because it doesn't show as a a quantity a listing so i'm just curious um let's see what she paid they were a dollar each dollar each oh no no it gets better than that she had a half price coupon <laughs> so yeah yeah sold for 14.99 now you guys know i'm not all about the low price stuff but if you have quantity here she does the math for me she sold oh she sold four of them so paid $4 to make $60 within 24 hours. Boom. These were uh, Jello Jiggler Easter egg molds. Again, look at the phrasing. You guys, there's a pattern here. You go back and watch the shows on these titles, on these hot sales. It's that phrasing. Phrasing. So important. Boom. That's awesome. Those probably cost like nothing to ship to. Uh, very lightweight. Very cool. Yes, we have Easter right around the corner. Easter stuff. You guys come over. Join us over on the Niche to Profit Facebook group. We run, and I stopped calling it Score Sunday. It is now Hot Sale Sunday. Yes, it is. So you can find those hot sales right off the bat and see what everybody else is a selling for good money. All right.
We'll come back for a little pick it or pass it in just a moment. For those of you who are listening to this, uh, not, not you guys are all watching. You're cool. Those who are just listening and audio, I know Scott is giving me the hardest time because I've got to put the words to that ad. So it, it's not just potty time when that ad comes on. <sighs> I'm telling you. But that was the Niche to Profit Academy uh, little commercial that I made. So you can join us over there. Use the code SHOW. 30. Come on in 30 days. We are going to help you make more money. You won't want, I guarantee you won't want to leave after the 30 days because you're already going to see your sales going up. If you do some of the things we tell you over there, uh, there's, there's multiple step-by-step, uh, webinars and workshops to help you grow your business, sell stuff faster, sell stuff, more money, more money. And it's, it, you guys, it's a whopping 10 bucks a month. Okay, I, I'm trying to help you out there. I know. Come make some money. All right. We are going to play another little pick it or pass it game. And uh, let me show you what you can win. We have the nifty, nifty niche to profit show tote bag. Oh, yes. We, we now have a gallery of winners. We have the gallery of winners. Uh, that is Marie. There was Marie. She has won twice. She not only has the tote bag. No, she also has the niche to profit coffee mug, as does Matt. Matt Pinkish. There's Matt. There we go. Yeah. And if you are as, as successful as Matt has been being an appster, you get your own sound effect, too. There we go. Now. Oh, oh, we can't forget Mike. Mike, Mike is sideways. <laughs> I must have sent the picture sideways. <laughs> Here, ask my Q. I don't see my Q in the chat today. Are you there? Yeah, what, what can you say? You know, he's. It, it must be the Vegas video visor that he's wearing, throwing him a little off center. I'm just saying. Ah, so there's Mike. All right. So, hey, you guys, you winners out there, we've had a few. Send me a picture. You can be in the gallery of winners. That's fun stuff right there. All right. So I've added yet another really cool prize uh, that I think is something that you will find very valuable. And I hope you will uh, choose this so I can help you with your business. This is the e-commerce business review that I offer. And I've got it up here on the screen. And let me come down 25, 25 things that I go over in your business and give you advice on. Okay. This is something that actually, this is a hundred dollar prize, you guys. So uh, check it out. If you don't want to wait till you win, you can go in and you can purchase this. Use uh, N2P and you can get half off. N2P, you can get half off. All right. So last week's uh, little item was Killa. They're Killa shoes. Killa. My clue was the name of these shoes would make your grammar teacher cringe. Get it? Killa instead of killer. Okay. Uh, made in one of my favorite countries known for glass production, that would be Italy. These are Italian shoes. And uh, no, they were not good luck because I 
past them. Apparently, I really stumped you guys this week uh, because we, we've only got three people going into the entry this week. Hey, come on, make a guess, you guys. You have a 50-50 chance of being right on whether I picked it or passed it. So it takes like 15 seconds to send that email over. Um, so here we go. We've got uh, Caesar. And Caesar, I don't have a last name. And I think you are new to entering our Pick It or Pass It. And you actually have two entries because you said they were Italian. Killa, Cricket, Slippers, we'll take it. And that I passed. So, boom. Oh, let me get my little magic covered wagon here. And we have Annette Kincaid said they were Killa Flat Mole Shoes. But she said that I picked them. And I didn't. They don't sell very much. They're pretty good if they're new uh, but not used. Linda Gonzalez, uh, Italian Shoes by Killa. So she gets into the little bucket here. There we go. Who's our lucky winner? Matt says, you passed. Those were awesome bug shoes. Those things would have given me nightmares. That or I would have had people stepping on my feet trying to kill those bugs. We don't want that. All right. Winner. Annette Kincaid, you are the winner. All right, you know what to do. Send, there we go. Send an email to niche to profit at vegasvideonetwork.com and let me know which prize you'd like. So this week's clues, ah, these are perfect decor for a log cabin, don't you think? A beaver may have helped with this project. An artist took pride in these handmade pieces. They were $5 each. Did I pick them or did I pass them? Those are your clues. Send your answers in to niche to profit at vegasvideonetwork.com. Niche to profit at vegasvideonetwork.com. And don't worry, if you missed those, I'll be posting this over on the niche to profit show facebook page on the page actually i share it everywhere you'll you follow one of my groups or pages you're gonna see your chance to uh see the picture and get a link that'll take you right back to the clues in case you didn't scribble those down or don't know what those are it's really i'm telling you guys it's easy you want to join okay uh let's see what else am i forgetting i don't think anything uh come on over Join us on the Ultimate Listing Challenge, ultimatelistingchallenge.com. We're only a few days in. Don't feel like you you didn't start on uh, March 1st that, no, forget it. I didn't start right at the beginning. That is just way too OCD. Don't do that. Come on over. Join us. You can get caught up really easy. And even if you, even if you start today, you're going to have more sales than if you don't start at all. All right. Um, come on over, join the niche to profit Academy. There's some big changes going to be happening over there. I'm going to, I'm getting ready to start posting my, uh, eBay store remodel videos. I've been remodeling my store. I, I pulled up and I showed you my categories. That was all part of the remodel. I show you how I did that. You're going to see me doing that with my own store and follow along. I share numbers. I show you how sales increase, how impressions increase, all the numbers. Um, we have our monthly webinars over there. We just did one that completely goes through and shows you how to use the information in the new seller hub so that you know how to strategically work your listings, what to put on sale, what to let go of, what to sell more of. Um, that was a, about an hour and a half webinar just going through all the pieces of that. So we do something like that every month. It is all archived. You can access every bit of it. Join us in the private Facebook group that is for members only and all kinds of fun stuff. And if you have missed an episode and want to go back and review any of this cool stuff we talk about, come join us over on iTunes and YouTube. Two channels on YouTube have this show, by the way, the Vegas Video Network channel and the Danny App channel. And where I put lots of other stuff over there for you as well. Uh, we have Roku and Stitcher, TuneIn, Chromecast, Apple TV, Google TV, Fire TV. And of course, you can always come back to the Vegas Video Network and find all 
all of the 42 shows that we now have in the uh, in the vault. Ooh, I like that. In the vault. We'll go with that. So that's it, guys. It's time for you to go be profitable and make it fun. See you next week. <laughs>